Welcome to this week's video tour of the CIO PCC. This week, um, I'm going to be looking at um, a slightly different collection. Usually when I do a collection, it's a line or a series by one company. Today, I'm kind of going to go and do all of my Lord of the Rings stuff. Largely because I don't have that much, so it'll make one single good video. Now up there, we have the NECA quarter scale figures along with the Sideshow Premium Format Gollum. You're going to see the uh, other piece to that in a minute. There was actually two ways you could do that. Either uh, um, a piece could be attached to the top. I used that piece because it fit up there. And you'll see in a minute what I'm talking about. Let's walk around to the other side. There's a couple other quarter scales that NECA did. Again, Gollum along with Bilbo. So let's drop down here for a minute on the green wall. These are all in the green section. The green section, of course, is adventure. We have the Sideshow um, six scale figures, all boxed. I haven't been able to bring myself to get rid of them yet, but I suspect I eventually will. That's a Lord of the Rings uh, Gollum there as well. That was one that Diamond Select did for Comic Con. That's the ACI uh, Aragorn and uh, the Boromir with the sculpted hair. Now, the ACI Aragorn, I didn't get rid of yet because it is a nice figure. Uh, just still, nobody's done a great Aragorn. So let's start with some of the Asmus six scale up on top here. Morgul Lord, the Mouth of Sauron, the Witch uh, King, who is one of my favorites. They really underappreciated line of figures. Done a great job, and they're only getting better. Now, you will see here in the middle, there's a Gandalf the White. He was one of their very first figures. Terrible, terrible figure. But I'm getting the new one to replace him. There's one of their latest ones, Bilbo. Of course, that's the losing his shit Bilbo with the screaming mouth. You'll see the other one in a minute. A couple of the Aragorns here, along with the Hobbits. Nobody's done a perfect Aragorn yet, and I kept these because they both have features that I like. And on the mouth of Sauron and the horseback. Now, what you're going to notice is we finally got from Asmus a complete uh, fellowship. So there's their terrific Gandalf they've done, along with the excellent Bilbo. <clears throat> and Gimli, who took forever for somebody to finally do a nice Gimli. And we have another Gandalf the Grey. I haven't gotten rid of that one yet, but I suspect as I need room, he's going to get boxed up and sold. A few more of the elves. Krishnak there, getting skewered through the middle by Emer. Now, it's not all of the uh, Lord of the Rings stuff. We drop down here and we have the uh, busts from General Giant. They didn't do too many, but they did a nice line. I'm pretty happy with it. They got a pretty wide variety of the characters. And that's a complete set, all the ones they've released. Above them, we have a few odds and ends in the Lord of the Rings stuff. Now, there's uh, the other version right there, Schmeagle. Uh, you could put that on top instead of the other upper body of Gollum. Uh, but that one, as you can see, is a little taller, so it didn't quite fit up there. And we get into the Diamond Select stuff that's been recently released. And we're going to finish off down here on this row just to show i like to show uh the evolution of action figures as well in the museum and here you'll see the toy biz 12 inch figures well pretty god awful they were as well as some of the mini mates the coolest thing on this shelf here is that uh helm of sauron that was done by sideshow back in the day and we'll finish up with the quarter scale uh, Morgul Lord. I actually have a number of other quarter scale figures, including Aragorn and Gandalf or Akai. But those are down in the basement. I will get around to showing those to you one of these days. And that's it for this week. Hope you enjoyed it.